lay some shit out. <laughs> You think, just, you know, when you're busy in summer, you think, my God, when I get winter, I'll have some spare time because there won't be so much going on. But then it's so cold and miserable, it's hard to get motivated. But anyway, believe it or not, I'm even trying to tidy the shit up in the shed a little bit. I figure if I start at the front of both sides and work my way back, maybe I can get some semblance of order before the winter's over. But, hell, anyway, everybody will find out how, how I go shortly. I'm just going to burn some of this crap out here and we'll be right back. Oh, hello kids, daddy's tidying up, would you believe? I know that's hard to believe. Now there's a dangerous thing to do in your spare time, kids. Help if my paper wasn't so dry, wet. And everything gets damp this time of year, doesn't it? Come on, you bloody wick. Are we ready? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and we're off! <laughs> While we're out here in the field, I'll show you the slum gum or the top shit that came off the top of our saucepan, which you didn't get to see because it got dark and you got to tip it out when it's hot, so that would have been worth seeing, but we were out here with a torch and the freezing cold, so. Anyway, come over here and check this shit out. <laughs> Goodness me, eh? So for all you beekeepers that have actually done this whole cleaning up the wax thing, you'll know about this muck that comes out and you normally end up with a heap of wax still stuck in it. But this project, you hardly end up with any. So I thought I'd just show you our slum gum heap of muck. Because if you have a look, there's hardly any wax left in there. So there's anybody out there that's actually ever cleaned up this blooming bees wax and brood frames and crap, they'll know that in the slum gum, you end up with quite a bit of wax unless you've got a fancy ass wax extracting machine, which I don't happen to have and I'm pretty sure if you're an amateur beekeeper, you don't happen to have one of them either. This is quite effective. So you can see there's hardly any wax left in here at all. As a matter of fact, if you got really motivated, you could probably scuggle through there and pick the pollen sacks up. Which is, that's not gonna happen. But where's one from before? I think it's actually, even the one before I had the mesh bottom worked out pretty good. There's a little bit of wax in here that you can see, but if you want to get some more wax out of your pot and you don't want to have hot wax down your boot when you tip the shit through a bag strainer or whatever else happens, or get in the shit for fucking up your wife's spaghetti strainer, this is a good option. So we're going to just do a rerun of this wax bit and then we'll be tickety-boo to go to make some lip balm and candles and... Oh, hell, I tell you what though, I had a go the other day and made this crazy ass shaving cream and so... You should, we should try that out, because that's pretty awesome. Yeah, just, even I had a crack at that, and it turned out pretty well, under supervision of my, my superior wife, who's into all this stuff. And we made this up, well, I guess we made it, but I'd like to claim some responsibility. Anyway, it's really awesome, and we're gonna have a look at it. So, but first of all, we gotta finish this wax off, and then be like the Karate Kid. Wax off, wax out, and then it's clean as out. So, part two of the excitement. This is when we did, then I just tipped it through and I tried to strain it off and you end up with a muck settling out. And it didn't really settle out very good. So we thought we'd have a comparison between that because normally you have to chip all that shit off, as you'd know, which you're supposed to do when it's warm. But anyway, there wasn't anybody here to do it when it was warm, so it's cold now. So now we'll see if we can get our, our next version out of this pot. So and then this is the one we did. So as you can see, hang on, we'll get the sauce, shall we get the saucepan out of the way because that's still full of the water. Ooh, there's still a bit of muck on the bottom, but we're gonna get rid of that in a minute. But if you compare it to the other option, and you have a look, have a look through how clean it is here, and I'll turn them around like cakes. I reckon, if I was to make a judgment call, I'd say I reckon I've done a pretty bloody good job of cleaning that wax. And I didn't even get anything in my boots, so I was pretty impressed. Oh dear. I probably could even wash the bloody spaghetti strainer and take it back inside and get away with it. But I think I threw that in the bin because it was such a disgrace. But anyway, so now we're just going to clean this off a little bit. I'm gonna... well, I think we're going to wash our saucepan. So <laughs> we'll wash this up, put these back, run it through again, and then we should be pretty right. We're going to, in the next process, we're going to put it in our wicked ass little wax machine. And it should be all tickety-boo for the wife and she won't be able to go, what's this blooming sticky, mucky stuff? 
she'll be all very impressed. And you'll be very impressed because you'll get to use some of the products. Hard to get good help. It's the truth, there's not much left. The rest is already done. Oh well, the rest is already charcoal. What was that for, Dad? Oh, that was my blooming stick to tilt the box up when I was, like, tilt the pot up to get the last of the wax out. Jolly heck, I'm not much of a karate kid, am I? It's the truth. We might take that out under the outside area somewhere or other and chip that muck off. Save it all being on my floor. Might see something a little bit more intense than a hive tool. Perhaps I'll go and find myself a tomahawk, but anyway, we'll have a crack at this first, so we'll see what sort of trouble we can get into. Don't want to get too aggressive anyway, because that's why we've got to put it back through again. I need to go to the gym. Get fit. <laughs> the workbench just fell to bits. God, gosh. Come on! <laughs> I think I'm going to have to put a handle on this. It's not really ideal. But anyway, I'm only doing these couple, so it doesn't really matter. Hopefully, the next one will be a bit easier. I reckon that'll do for the first clean up. Then we'll put it back through again. Where am I going to put that? Over there. Anyway, this might be a bit better, this one, hopefully. Ah, oh, purpose built workbench. Well, I definitely reckon that's a marked improvement. Oh, 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 marked improvement. Lame. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I reckon that looks pretty good. <sighs> right. Hopefully we'll get rid of all these bits. The next bit we'll strain it through and we should be all good. Ow. Right. Just doing the washing up. <laughs> ah, golly gosh. I don't suppose we have to wash that shit because they're going to get covered in muck the next time around, aren't they? We'll wash them when we're finished. We've got to do another load yet anyway. Ah, oh, the things we do so you can watch us on this journey. <laughs> anyway, it looks like it needs a clean anyway. I'm tipping this crap out in the pitch black darkness. <laughs> that was a bit of entertainment the other night. Oh, the lovely wife come out and held the torch for me, which was good. All wrapped up, she was. It was freezing bloody cold. Oh, well, anyway, at least she was committed to get her, her human stuff for her products, which is good. Isn't water monoclear stuff? Like, the water's absolutely filthy and it's still absorbing more filth. It's pretty cool, really. <laughs> oh, how that all works. You know, it's a jolly old. <laughs> oh, that's just doing its thing. I'm going to go and see if I can find some paper towel. Because I have been known to use a tea towel and there's great excitement because there's no way to get them clean afterwards. So if you're into beekeeping and you're cleaning shit up, don't take your wife's tea towels because it's not makes for happy relationships. Just buy a roll of paper towels. Not that dear, honestly. Right, hang on, we'll turn our heat off. You don't need that anymore. Turn that around a bit. This is warm. <laughs> Feel like a bit of sauna. Maybe we can advertise that. In sauna. Looking pretty good, but my rag's getting jolly hot. 
These hands are a miraculous invention, aren't they? You know, just a bit sensitive to heat. Including radiator caps. Oh, you stop bringing that up. I'm trying to forget that sort of crap. If it wasn't live on YouTube, you could just move on with your life, couldn't you? But no, you see, when it's recorded, not everybody has made a few mistakes along their life's journey. Surely I can't be the only stupid idiot out there in the world. There's seven, what is it, seven billion of us? Isn't there something? There's got to be one other bloke out there that's done something dumb. <laughs> oh. But not everybody's been recorded being stupid, have they? So, anyway, it is what it is. Okay, let's go and tip this crap into the garden. Oh, man. Let's bring that rag along with you. Oh, far wow, out, that's hot. Woo! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Man, it's quick, it's set. Ha, ow! That is fucking crazy hot. Oh, it did seem like a good idea. How's that song go? Seemed like a good idea at the time. Da, 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 da. I don't know who sung that, but hang on. It's not whose song was it. <laughs> he sung it, isn't it? Not song. Oh, I tell you what, it's early in the morning. Oh, fuck! It's early in the morning. The bloke's not really functioning just yet. I've had a bit of coffee, but fuck. <sighs> yeah, we're nearly there. Up, oh, up, oh, around we go, around we go. Don't break the tap, otherwise it'll be ruined. There'll be all sorts of trouble in your household. My own special pot. Oh, totally irresponsible. Oh, that, that's still hot. Damn it. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> This is when it is a good idea to have your wife's tea towel because you can grab hold of shit. <laughs> Hang on. <sighs> anyway, that's looking pretty good, I reckon. <sighs> Help! <laughs> oh! They call that round two. <laughs> I guess they call it round two. Like Mike Tyson. Poor old Mike Tyson. He bit someone's ear off, didn't he? I haven't actually done this bit before, so <laughs> let's see why we get on. But well, my plan is we'll pop the wax in, melt it back down, run it through a bit of a strainer, and then we should get rid of all this other excitement. Medieval, they used to pour that in a boot, didn't they? Hot wax in a boot or something. Oh, God, that would have hurt. <laughs> it's amazing how human beings can dream up, you know, torturing the crap out of each other, isn't it? It's crazy stuff. You wouldn't catch a couple of wild dogs pouring wax on each other, would you? Mind you, they probably couldn't melt it in the first place, so. Anyway, we'll just strain off a little bit of the water first. Which is about there, I reckon. You should be able to see when the wax is starting to come into the pot. Which is it just, I think it's... The cheek's way to do it is just to let it settle for a minute and see whether it forms on the top. And if you're really brave, you can put your finger in there and get some wax on your finger. Which I think I might have gone more than I should have already. And then we'll just chuck that away and then we'll strain the rest and we'll be into it. We're going to have water and wax in this first bit, but that doesn't really matter for this bit. Because we're... Because then the water and the wax will settle out anyway. That ought to strain out all our muck, which is my plan anyway, so hopefully we get that to settle out. We won't, we'll, this saucepan should be okay. We'll fill up these two saucepans. I've got a flat dish here somewhere for the later on bit. Fingers crossed it doesn't run over. 
Otherwise that'll be fun. I think it looks a little bit like beeswax coming your way. Anyway, we'll get that out of the way. I can go over there for a minute. Oh, a bit of a blooming big saucepan full of wax. At least these ones I can warm up anyway. Not like the plastic pots where you got to cut it out. That's a bit entertaining. Ah, oh, that'll be right. Now we're going to get the blockage. Yeah, beastie, we're going to get blocked up. Obviously got a big worm in there somewhere. Oh, does that mean I gotta go and find my patented poking stick? All right, that's nearly pure wax coming out of there. That's pretty good, I reckon. Oh, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Can we take our bend off? <laughs> Move it out. Now that our special tilting stick's gone awry, or kind of turned into ash, really, <laughs> we have to find a different piece of stuff. I suppose at least I didn't burn my paddle, so that'd be something. So that looks pretty clean to me down there. We're just going to throw our bit of muck out for these little bit of shrapnel. Fucking hell. <laughs> God. That was good, wasn't it? Last bit through that, so we'll be all good. No, it looks pretty bloody spectacular. <laughs> So we'll just let this little festival of wax cool down and turn itself solidified and then stage three and next thing you know it'll be like beautiful beeswax. I don't know. It's doing such, such a good job. Maybe you'll have to them and charge the wife for this stuff. And you know what? That'll happen. It'll be like, I think it's still a one-way street. I think I owe her more than she owes me already. Anyway, it's all good. Anyway, there you go. That's how you make some clean wax without getting it in your boot. So, give it a crack. Looks like a great big lump of cheese or something. But anyway, how bloody good's that come up? Oh, I reckon we might be on to something here with a bit of wax festival and a little bit of stuff on the bottom that I'm just scratching off while it's nice and still a bit warm. Well, there you go. I might have to patent this. This is kind of cool. Not sure if you can put a patent on a hole in the bottom of a pot, but anyway. <laughs> oh, I reckon that's pretty impressive, so I'm glad you came along and had a look at it. There you have it. Looks pretty bloody good to me, I reckon.